But if you guys are getting excited right now, I'm sorry, but you're on the wrong side of this. I was excited on Bitcoin down here. I was excited on Bitcoin down here and down here. Uh, you know, I'm not excited right now. You know, take it from me as a guy that's actually traded this move damn near perfectly since the beginning. Uh, this is where people who really know what they're doing are going to start strapping themselves in. I hope your fucking seatbelt strapped in. Ladies and gents, here we go. We've got another video. I'm so proud of me. I'm so proud of me calling the actual top. If you guys were inside of the VIP group, you're going to know that I actually uh, sold Bitcoin at the top as well. Uh, took profits at the top. Completely standard procedure. You already know the deal. Shout out to those of you that are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Fucking love you guys. Let's take a look at what we've seen because Bitcoin has now dropped down by about 10% from its highs, which is absolutely fantastic. However, it's still quite likely has a long way to go. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Bitcoin managed to uh, get rejected exactly off where we expected. I mean, if we take a look at it on this chart, this is the same chart that I made that previous video on. You guys absolutely loved it. Thank you for all of the love on this video. Fuck these uh, bots. I'm not even logged in right now, so I can't ban this guy, but you guys were massive fans of that video. Thank you all for subscribing. Uh, this exact range was what caused major problems for Bitcoin. And it begs the question, now that we've started to pull back, how far are we going to pull back or are we done pulling back? So I want to help you guys answer that question. Obviously, I don't have the answers here, but I'm definitely uh, competent enough to analyze this for myself and hopefully good enough for you guys as well. Um, you know, what I've been seeing here is a critical area of resistance, now potentially support right here at about $42,000. Bitcoin has been hovering around this price point for the most, uh, for the better part of today, to be honest. I mean, you know, we've uh, broken down, come back up. We're, we're basically gravitating back to this key level. So I think this is going to be a very important level for Bitcoin to hold. The problem is that on the way up, we didn't really establish much resistance. And when you get these really rapid fire quick rises, that does typically mean that the price can actually drop down very aggressively as well. So I think that's one of the key reasons we've seen this. Obviously, the altcoin market has taken a massive tumble as well. Here is Matic from its high down to its low down by, I'm sorry, down to the current price down by 11% and from uh, high to low down by 14. So we've seen a lot of altcoins getting smashed pretty hard. Solana, low high to low 17%, just absolute decimation here, ladies and gents. And it's actually really interesting. I actually ran a poll on my Twitter page a couple of days ago. Those of you that are following me uh, are going to know a little bit. Take, take a look at this. I've lived many lives before I was a superstar trader i was a mob boss that is seven-year-old sammy chilling in new york sweeping up the ladies you already know the deal manhattan had no shot uh when when i was uh, when i was in town and right here i put out a poll on uh, on twitter just asking you guys now is a good time to short the markets do you agree yes or no and the majority voted no uh, you know look i think you guys are generally a better audience than uh you know the typical crypto traders but you're still, uh, you know, generally going to be looking at most people being wrong, no matter where you go. And it's actually, you know, people ask me, hey, what about discussion groups? Are you in discussion groups? Do you participate in them? Do you like them? Telegram, Discord, whatever. Fuck no, absolutely not. I actually used to run a discussion group years ago and I shut it down for precisely this reason. Most people cannot trade. Most people do not need to be broadcasting their opinions. You can't see the numbers, but it's 22% here and 48% here and results was, you know, if you didn't want to vote. So obviously we know what followed on from there, uh, you know, and I think that that was all very much expected. We were looking at things like the long and short ratio on the four flies dashboard. Obviously this gave us some critical data. The fear and greed index still hasn't reset, uh, you know, so we're still, you know, majority long on Binance, slightly majority short on Bybit as well. Top traders staying in their position because I mean, they've been in their position since the beginning of the year, like your boy right here. You already know the deal. We've been sitting in this same long position for a very, very long time, took some profits above 1,000 percent which i'm super super happy about and now it's a case of identifying those potential next areas of support on this chart and you know again for me this range is actually pretty easy to read um you know if we zoom out and we really start looking at where these potential areas of interest are going to be for me it's just going to be these reversal points right so obviously we had a lot of reversals at about 44k so no surprise this was an obvious level and when i was telling you guys that i'm, th I'm thinking we can come down uh, come up here even when we were down here, even when we were down in the 20s, um, what I would tell you guys is, you know, 40K would be that psychological level, but the real price areas would be 41, 42, 44, mainly 42 and 44. Uh, and what we actually ended up doing was we overshot that 
41 42 area and came right up to grab that 44k which was absolutely fantastic completely normal completely okay uh you know but obviously now that does just mean that we are massively overstretched and again that is exactly what i was telling you guys about in this beautiful youtube video right here just outlining the same things that i'm telling you guys right now we're on the other side of it was pretty confident to give you guys that analysis you guys know i don't say that i'm very sure of things particularly often i'm a trader after all right everything's probabilities but when i get behind the camera when I get behind this microphone and I'm telling you guys that, yo, pay attention. This is a serious point in the market. A lot of people are about to screw themselves. Uh, you know, that is where you sit up straight and start taking notes, ladies and gents, because yeah, big, big reversal zone here. The next one is going to be around $40,000, which is more or less where we are right now. And if we fail this area, it is unequivocally clear as far as I can see uh, that next key area in this market is going to be hovering around 37.538K. And that is where we got some key reversals, some key consolidation. Take a look at this massive reversal coming off this level big reversals big reversals big reversals we didn't quite use it as resistance uh which is really interesting i mean we did a little bit back here in 2021 and also in 2023 but not really that much beyond that so that's interesting but i definitely think that this green box is going to be a really nice area of support and one of the beautiful things we can actually start to do on this chart now is we can actually start throwing some Fibonacci retracements on here now because we do have a uh, beginning of a retracement, right? So we can actually start seeing where this thing might go. And if we're looking for that key 382 Fibonacci level, that's going to put us at would you guess 37.2 which is more or less exactly the area that i was just outlining for you guys beautiful price level to retrace down to 32 uh down to 31 also 32 and a half down to 31.7 also looking at uh you know the beautiful golden pocket right here and this area makes a lot of sense for bitcoin if i actually just draw a box right between these two levels and then we uh extend it out you're going to see that actually this level makes a lot of sense for bitcoin uh you know we could definitely overshoot it and that would make a lot of sense you know potentially just drag this a little bit just a little bit down uh you know to start grabbing some of these other price areas here but i mean a beautiful place for bitcoin to retrace down to and the thing is is you know when we're looking at key areas of resistance you know we, we were looking at you know like i said 40k 42 uh you know but then we overshot it for 44 right so we can definitely do that on the way down if we're going to come down and grab this area of support please do not be surprised if we have something a little bit like that that's exactly what we've done over here that's exactly what we did over here those are entry points those are not the points to panic so please be careful uh, obviously those of you that are watching this youtube channel you're not going to be taken by surprise by that kind of thing because we see this shit coming from thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars away so uh, obviously we're staying very very well prepped massive shout out to those of you that have been supporting this channel and those of you that have made some money in this market over the last weeks and especially the last days a lot of people have uh, you know, really been struggling in this market, whether they weren't positioned well or didn't get out of positions or whatever the case may be. But uh, uh, we've been doing pretty well. So that is absolutely fantastic. Super, super happy with that. I did suffer two small losses, very, very controlled losses. And I mean, just an unlimited uh, amount of wins here. Absolutely beautiful. So I mean, obviously not unlimited, but super, super happy with the performance here. I mean, you know, just just everywhere. Super, super impressive stuff there. Uh, what is going on here? Okay. And, uh, and and so if we do bring it back on here, you know, a potential easy retracement zone that we could be looking at is this uh, 382 Fibonacci level. So that's definitely something I'm going to be interested in watching. Also, some of the EMA ribbons, uh, you know, on the four hour time frame, we've actually failed this now. And uh, and that's a bit of a shame. We only got one real bounce off this ribbon. But on the daily time frame, we zoom out a little bit more. And we're starting to hit that area of resistance. I'm sorry, that area of support now. And it does stretch right down to that 382 level. That's exactly where it stretches down to very very precisely so uh you know again showing me that this 37.2 you know this pocket basically let me just draw another box to represent what this looks like i think it's going to be you know something a little bit like this yeah so i think two totally totally reasonable price areas for the market to uh, find some uh, potential support in obviously they are big drops down and again if we just kind of stretch these back and look at you know what we're actually dealing with here I mean again this is just where the reversals happen right so uh, the, you know I mean past performance is no indicator of future results obviously but what are you here for on a technical analysis channel if you don't think that this is useful? So, uh, you know, I think that these are definitely, you know, some key areas that Bitcoin might gravitate to. Look at these beautiful, beautiful rejections that Bitcoin experienced just over the last couple of weeks. So very, very much would love to see Bitcoin dropping down here. Is it possible that the drop is over? I mean, yeah, right? Like everything is possible. Um, I'm not totally convinced, though, if we actually go ahead and uh, take a look at the RSI bet with me here. Uh, I do want to show you what 
this was looking like for a little bit. We actually had a pretty clear bearish divergence over the last days. This was also, even though I don't really like the RSI, this is also one of the reasons that I was quite interested in, uh, you know, just setting off some BTC. This is not the best example. Let me just cheat a little bit to uh, to save time. And, uh, you know, I mean, if we look at the similar kind of uh, pattern on the RSI, I mean, it just, it couldn't have been clearer. Look at that. I mean, it was just such a clear bearish divergence where the RSI was trending down, price was still moving up. We punched in a higher high. And I don't know if you can argue that we punched. Yeah, we, you could say we punched in higher lows, but it doesn't really matter. We're going for characteristics, not exacts. I think a lot of traders get bogged up in like the 100% perfect pixel perfect image on the trading chart. But you're not going to get that, to be honest. I mean, you'll see it in textbooks. <laughs> and you'll see it when YouTubers teach you how to trade. But, you know, when you're actually, you know, having skin in the game, you're going to realize that a lot of these things that look perfect in theory don't actually work that way in real life. And that's OK. That's why trading is challenging for most people and uh, profitable for others uh, like us right here. So that's not a problem. We actually can use that to our advantage. Uh, but this RSI divergence here really set Bitcoin up for a big, big drop. And we have a reset that. So, you know, I mean, if you're an RSI trader, then God bless you. And <laughs> at the same time, we could definitely be ready for some sort of a recovery. And I don't want to completely rule that out. Uh, you know, this is a really bullish market. And one of the things that we do in really bullish markets is uh, kind of like what we did right here. You know, we uh, we, we range up, we, we perform inc incredibly, incredibly well. And then we actually just start trading sideways. We don't pull back down to where we came from. We just start trading sideways at a higher level. We don't even revisit the lows. This was probably the best part of this range, right? If I draw a line here, as soon as we broke that 25K level, and this is one of the key things that we were talking about a lot on this YouTube channel. As soon as we managed to break that 25k level, that was it for Bitcoin. Uh, you know, it did not return back down to that level ever since then. I mean, you know, there were a couple of wicks right here, but you know, really not a big deal. And I think that really is very, very telling for the market. So, uh, you know, are we going to do something like that again? You know, totally doable, totally doable. You know, we can outline that as, you know, the 38.5K level. Uh, you know, we can bring this up to 40K. It really depends on how much hopium you've been smoking out of your crack pipe. But, uh, you know, that that's going to be up to you to decide. And, uh, you know, if we're going to end up kind of ranging sideways, then I could definitely see something like this for a little bit uh, leading into that halving and, you know, building that hype up for the ETF. Obviously, we knew uh, that the ETF was one massive lie. Uh, somebody, if one or two people in the comments actually pointed out something very, very good. And it's a completely massive oversight that I made and I have to correct it. I told you guys that ETFs uh, and just generally things like that when big players step in the market are not going to make the little guy rich. What I failed to tell you, even though I knew this, I just forgot. And that is completely my mistake. And I apologize was that when gold had its ETF in somewhere around the mid 2000s, it fucking skyrocketed. I mean, it was Bitcoin's wet dream. It was your wet dream that gold pulled off when that ETF launched. So uh, clearly that's not the case for an asset which is similar to Bitcoin. Is that going to repeat for Bitcoin? Look, you've pointed out a valid point. The two subscribers who, who pointed that out, thank you. And thank you for doing it respectfully, by the way. Um, you know, you did point out something very, very valid. I still don't think that's going to apply to Bitcoin. And the reason I don't think it's going to apply to Bitcoin is because Bitcoin is very much a poor man's asset in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, you don't typically get, uh, you know, poor people buying gold, for example. I mean, you obviously do. You do it with, 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 with anything. But uh, Bitcoin is really the poor man's hopium in a lot of ways. And, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't get this wrong. Uh, I mean, if you want to get it wrong and be offended, then go for it. <laughs> Not my business. But, uh, you know, I mean, don't don't take me wrong here. I'm, you know, I don't have anything against Bitcoin. I hold... I don't know, honestly, probably like, well, I'm not even going to say, but very, very, very little gold and a lot of Bitcoin. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm balls deep in Bitcoin and I'm happy with that. I love it. I love this position. I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, but at the same time, we're about realism on this channel, right? I mean, the reason that you're subscribed to this channel is that so you get that daily dose of reality. And it's really important to understand that, yes, even though, uh, you know, I mean, th there was something beautiful that played out with a very similar asset, you know, however many, you know, one or two decades ago, so that's very, very true. Uh, you know, I don't think Bitcoin's in that same kind of situation. Uh, you know, and and I am I am gonna say that you know quite confidently. Uh, you know, Bitcoin has still 
got way too much of that hype around it where you know just a little guy thinks that he's going to get saved by wall street or whatever and that's ultimately what my case rests on it almost doesn't matter uh you know that the etf for gold performed so incredibly well uh because it just had different market dynamics and and i think that's really really important if you want to believe that what every single other fucking trader in the space is banging their drum about and say that the same thing is going to happen if you want to be agreeing with the 90 percent even though you've been watching my videos and you know that's not the place to be then go for it doesn't affect me obviously you might just be my exit liquidity or maybe i'll be yours we'll see may the best man win but um you know that's uh that that's that's a take which i really wanted to clarify and i also wanted to point out that yes i make mistakes obviously uh you know and that was one of them so really really important thank you guys uh for pointing that out and again i have to stress this thank you for doing it respectfully youtube doesn't know how to do that particularly well but you gentlemen certainly did so i do appreciate that let's come back to the chart here and talk about where we might start getting some bounces from if we throw on the ichimoku cloud we are in it right now in fact a fair few coins are let me just double check link as well well i believe link is in its oh link just fell out of its cloud okay yeah link fell out of its cloud right here uh so you know that's that's definitely not ideal we're basically still in it but uh yeah bitcoin dropping a little bit less harshly uh you know is in a good position bitcoin's dominance by the way has fallen through uh, which is really interesting so alts actually gained some strength against bitcoin over these last few days over this last week or so so that's definitely interesting but we come back to the bitcoin chart here with the ichimoku cloud and look i mean this is more or less failed now um i mean it's a nice big cloud it certainly could still work for bitcoin but for me guys i'm just not convinced i'm seeing this thing dropping down at least a, a little bit more another leg and actually i think i would love to see some sort of you know reaction rally back up to these highs find some rejections off this previous area of support and then continue this thing down i think that would look absolutely beautiful i think it would make a lot of sense for the market it would definitely make people who are still majority long on binance start rubbing themselves off a little bit and that's exactly where we want to be it's when absolutely everybody cannot fathom that this market might. and by the way i have to point out i mean you know you guys are definitely quite smart right like a 22 percent yes vote uh i i don't you know i think if you ran this poll on any other crypto twitter account or most other crypto twitter accounts you would see negative you know m many many more people saying no many more uh you know I, I think the fact that i asked this question made a lot of you decide to vote yes so uh, you know, we are talking about a higher IQ crowd. Thank you all very much. Uh, you know, but um, I, I, again, I, I think that, you know, when, when people really start to, you know, just say, look, we're so back, everything's back on track. We're going back to the moon. We're going back to our yachts. We might have 50% less Bitcoin because we bought shit coins and we didn't listen to four flies, but we're so back. Uh, you know, when you start getting that kind of sentiment and again, when everybody is feeling that, I mean, I had PL screenshots all over my Twitter. I had people getting super, super excited. Obviously, alts had their little frenzy as well. You know, I mean, it, it's just so typical. We've seen this shit a million times. And, you know, when you're just outright rejecting, I mean, and, and, you know, I only ran this on my, I wish I could have ran this on a Twitter account that was, you know, 10 times bigger. But, uh, you know, when you start seeing that kind of sentiment, it's just such a clear sign. So if we start seeing that, you know kind of return on these pumps back up assuming of course that we get them nothing is guaranteed that would be uh you know really really useful for me to see where the market is and it's a hard thing to do by the way you know when you see everybody sharing sharing the same opinions if you are in those shitty discord groups and telegram groups and so on discussing the markets then you know you're going to start to you know really see where people are and it's quite hard to detach yourself because you almost don't realize when you have to um you you do get better at it the more you do it it just takes self-awareness those of you that meditate those of you that maybe even are religious you're probably going to have a little bit i don't want to go down that road but you might have a little bit more self-awareness definitely people that are mindful and meditate and stuff like that uh you know you're, you're going to have a better take than uh other people who don't do those things uh because you're just more aware of yourself you're more aware of your psyche so uh you know that's really really helpful i don't uh, i don't actually meditate or anything uh but i do know that it would be one of the highest roi activities that i could do as a trader so i definitely should start uh you know so look you know looking to come down here you know whether it's a little bit of consolidation here a bit of a you know kind of reaction rally and then down uh would be absolutely fantastic grab some liquidity down here maybe even overshoot that fib level a little bit maybe drop down to 36 something like that that would be beautiful uh really start to scare people and the thing about this area is that the support is actually quite messy uh you know i mean we didn't really have particularly clean resistance which makes it a little bit hard to say where that support exactly might be and that definitely makes it harder to enter positions i'm not worried about that because of where the altcoins are and you guys already know 
I've been trading these markets using these links down below. You're going to get over 196K in bonuses when you check them out. Bybit being the best in the game, that still hasn't changed, giving you up to $30,000 in completely free trading capital. Uh, and you can actually trade shit coins for free. By the way, if you are massively attached to your shit coins and you just refuse to uh, acknowledge what I'm telling you, uh, you can actually use your shit coins as collateral for leverage positions, meaning that if you just hold a lot of XRP because whatever, let's stop being offensive for a minute. Uh, you know, you can actually trade any market with leverage um, with their unified trading account feature. And as far as I know, Bybit is actually the only platform that offers that. So that is really, really cool. Uh, obviously, we've got CoinW and BingX here, both uh, with no KYC requirement, which is super, super cool. Uh, and BingX also allows you to trade traditional finance market stocks and so on. Please, please be careful of the countries you're in. If these exchanges are illegal in your country, such as UK, US, Canada, and so on, you can't use them, don't even try. Uh, but if you are allowed to use them, then you have huge bonuses available to you, massive capital to give you head starts, uh, you know, and any profits you generate with that money are yours to keep. So that is super, super cool. Now, if we do bring it back to the market, zoom out a little bit more onto the daily time frame. This is where things start to line up a lot more impressively to me. You know, if we do start to see a, you know, slightly slower uh, drop down, everybody's going to be looking for a very bullish uh, December, right? That's what we always get. Now would be a perfect time to buck that trend. Uh, that's actually been what's been happening a lot throughout the course of this year, especially Q3, Q4. Uh, a lot of people thought that their Superman with their monthly analysis of things repeating on the same month on schedule. Uh, obviously, I call bullshit on that. I will take it into account. But when everybody and their nan is screaming it from the rooftops, I do not care. And, uh, and I'm actually going to start thinking the opposite. And that's what I did this year. And it tended to uh, be the right idea. So, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very much open to the idea that this turns out to be a more bearish month leading into the very beginning of next year. And then, you know, everyone, everyone's got their narrative of, well, people are liquidating for, you know, tax funds or whatever, you know, that's where hopefully we might start to see that next leg up. It would be due, uh, you know, it's like I said, in the last video, we rallied up a lot. Uh, you know, I mean, this was 80% guys from this low to this high. I mean, let me just measure this again, make sure I did this correctly. 80%, absolutely absolutely insane you know without a pullback 80 percent without a pullback so like you know i mean what do you expect um you know at the same time i think one of the things that really confirms this for me is the dollar uh the dollar has started to rise up and i don't know what this is looking like right now i'm not particularly great at analyzing the dollar uh but you know if this thing does continue to rally higher then obviously that's just going to spell weakness for the rest of traditional finance which this is interesting actually uh the s p 500 which just stopped trading a few you know, like an hour ago uh, has actually broken up so i don't know how the s p 500 managed to do that with the dollar rising up that's not particularly uh you know commonplace uh but that's what we saw so we are seeing a bit of a decoupling there uh between bitcoin and the s p 500 just for today it's too early to see decoupling obviously but that's something that I'm going to be keeping an eye on for, uh, you know, if we do start to, you know, just restart this trend and start being explosive to the upside again, uh, that would be cool. Uh, it would be very concerning. But, you know, I think the only thing that could allow Bitcoin to do that would be strength across traditional finance, where it's like, fuck it, we'll just shrug it off and we'll start buying again. Uh, you know, but, uh, but Bitcoin has already risen up quite high. Uh, you know, if we did start to rise up, I would definitely be, uh, you know, cautious of a potential fake out. I don't really say that stuff before because I wasn't expecting it before, but I am now. So uh, please do keep that in mind as well. Uh, you know, I'd love to see a confirmed breakout anyway. And, you know, by the way, if we did, let's actually start looking at where that might take us. You know, the next key area on this chart is pretty obvious in my view. It is going to be this juicy $48,000 price level right here. This is where we've seen some absolutely fantastic reversals. Look at this massive one right here. I was about to buy a Ferrari SF90 when Bitcoin was here and I didn't do it and the rest was history but but i did actually drive one of my friends sf90s i was sat with him at the at the at the hookah bar the other day here in dubai i was telling him hey man i, I mean I was, we were just talking casually i was like yeah i might rent an sf90 it's super expensive but i just want to try it out and he's like you want to drive mine i was like are you fucking serious bro so dude let me fucking drive his sf90 so that is the coolest thing that's happened in my life this month uh super super happy with that if you guys don't know that is the fastest production car by ferrari if i'm not mistaken uh we, it was it was insane by the way it was better than i thought um pretty bitter that i didn't sell my bitcoin up here to buy that sf90 but 
Anyway, let's stop talking about my woes. Um, we, uh, we saw some more rejections, some more interesting price action here, specifically this wick that I really like, uh, you know, and some other key bits of price action here, this nice big reversal, the dump stopping right here momentarily, uh, you know, some, some interesting bits, uh, 48K, clearly another key level in this market. So if we do break it, that's where my eyes are gonna be. These are all very obvious places for Bitcoin to stop and start finding resistance. We've already known this and we've already outlined these levels. So you know, this analysis isn't really changing. Uh, you know, for now, I would be very interested in seeing how we interact with this level. And if we do take that second leg down into a much more juicy price area, uh, into a much deeper pullback as well from our high to our low, uh, this is going to put us down by about 15%. But I shudder to think about what might happen to the altcoin market. I, I would have to expect that we start to see a um, recovery on the Bitcoin dominance chart, and that would probably translate into a lot more blood for the altcoins. That is not a bad thing. I think that we're actually going to start to see some really nice opportunities opening up in the altcoin market. So uh, I'm definitely primed up for that. I'm definitely excited for that. And I am definitely keen on trading it. Uh, my star coin Tron, which moved up before the rest of the market did, and in no small way I entered down here, uh, has been holding its level incredibly strong. So I'm very happy with it. Although it is, I've just spotted this, it is potentially starting to form a bit of a descending triangle eh, not really not really you can't really call it a descending triangle yet honestly it might be more of a symmetrical triangle although also not a very good one yeah no it might be it definitely might be so if this is a symmetrical triangle a little bit more bullish we'll see i'll keep you guys updated binance is actually up today that's interesting don't know how that happened uh but uh but yeah so that's what i'm going to be looking out for in this market. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. Smash up those likes, subscribe, tick the bell, late one today. Let me know if you appreciate this upload time and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.